Hey everybody, welcome back to the Nidus Anarchy Series. I'm your host, Adam, CIO and co-founder of Nidus, and today I want to talk to you about some crazy AI breakthroughs that are amazing and terrifying. So, I just found out that there is a great company called 11labs.io that does voice AI to basically learn and train off your voice and then create a model for you that you can then put in whatever text you want and it will spit out the speech of you saying whatever it is. So I'm gonna give you a quick here little demo as to how good this really is. Um, now this model has been trained on 30 minutes of my voice just from this podcast. I basically just took podcast stuff and threw it in there and then here's the train. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna use a couple different AIs here. So first I'm gonna show you the chat GPT gen generating just different res prompts, if you will, that we're gonna use into there. So this way I'm not saying it, it's completely random and I'll watch it all live. And then I'll, I'll say it first and then we'll go there. Okay, cool, so let's do chat GPT. Now the reason I wanna show you these different three AIs doing this same exact question is to, for the speed, which we'll get to later. Right now it's writing out 20 different AI. So right now I told it, give me 20 different versions of a 20 word narrative that would be the beginning of a great sci-fi novel. It's at number four, it's still going. All right, so now let's do meta, show the speed difference here. Do, 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 this is llama three, way faster. Look at nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and it's done. Chat GPT, or 16, 17, so it's still going. And now we're gonna use Grok to do the same thing, which is also llama three. Do, 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 paste, all right. Now we're gonna use Grok three. And done. <laughs> so much faster. So now let's take one. Let's pick one of these random ones here. In the depths of the ocean, a team of marine biologists discovered a hidden city holding secrets of an ancient civilization. Sounds great. We'll use that one. So now we're going to go over to 11 labs and we're going to plop it in with my voice. Ready? In the depths of the ocean, a team of marine biologists discovered a hidden city holding secrets of an ancient civilization. That sounds exactly like me. Now, just to show you how easy it is to switch between voices. So there's that. So now I'm going to make myself, I think this is making me a British person. In the depths of the ocean, a team of marine biologists discovered a hidden city holding secrets of an ancient civilization. That sounds way better for an audiobook recording. And then the last one I have, I wanted to do, let's try this. Oh, here we go. Do Valley Girl. In the depths of the ocean, a team of marine biologists discovered a hidden city, holding secrets of an ancient civilization. That would be terrifying to have to listen to an entire audiobook that way. But that's the whole point is the text is so irrelevant of the voice quality. It's crazy. I mean, it sounds exactly like me. And it sounds like whoever else I want to throw in there. And now let's get to the terrifying part. So this is amazing, right? So I can have, I don't have to, I no longer have to say anything. I can just type it in here and it comes out. Now what's cool is this, this place, they have an API that you can link into and it will, when you deliver the text and say, Hey, I want you to, you know, generate an audio version of this text. It will reply back and stream it to you as it's still generating. So therefore you can get a real time response back from their system with no real delay. So that's huge. Now the kicker is AI has been awesome. And we, I really haven't been too worried because the amount of processing power that it would take to do real time AI generation was always huge and it was take too long. So it could never be real time. So you really couldn't use it for actively attacking someone. Well, that's gone. <laughs> so with Grok, I mean, you saw how fast this stuff gets generated. It's instant. So there's actually a video of a guy out there where, and I'll, I'll, I'll see if I can find it so I can link it and link it to you where he took the Grok AI to basically act as a call center. Hi, Jason. I'm reaching out from crazy fitness regarding your interest in our gym memberships. I'm here to provide you with all the information you need and answer any questions you might have. Thanks for calling. No problem. So what specific fitness goals are you looking to achieve? Uh, I just want to lose some weight. I haven't done exercise at all for the past three or six months since COVID. I totally get that. Our personalized training and nutrition programs can help you reach your weight loss goals. Let's discuss the membership options that are best for you. Okay, sounds good. I think I'm pretty happy to just go ahead and get the Membership start this Saturday, if possible. Great to hear that. To complete the process, I just need your credit card number to secure your membership. Okay, so my credit card number is 1234-1234-4231-4231. Thanks, Jason. 
You're all set. See you on Saturday. All right. Thanks. Bye bye. So think of it this way: you ask, you tell, you put, you punch in a question into Grok. It then dumps out the the text instantly. That text gets fed to the API for the speech generator, which then immediately returns a response. Now you have another system that listens for someone to say something, and then that goes back to the LLM to generate another response. And now you have a circular system of AI doing an entire conversation with somebody over a phone or Zoom or whatever, and it's reacting however that model was told to react to that person. So let's say I said, hey, you know what, ChatGPT, or if I do a local LLM that's uncensored so I can have it say anything even nefarious, I say, hey, local uncensored llama, I want you to act as a nefarious phishing expert and your sole purpose is to try to get a password out of a person, blah, blah, blah. Now what's gonna happen is I put that in touch with a real person through a phone call, that ChatGPT model will generate that first response throw it through the, the speech generator, deliver that to the person on the phone call. Person on the phone call is gonna respond back. That phone call is then gonna take that audio, flip it into text, which we all know how easy that is. That's been going on for years. Throw That goes right back into the LLM with that chat. So now the next thing in the chat is gonna say, okay, here's the response. And it knows its goal is to get a password. And it's just gonna have a full on conversation with this person. And this person is going to believe that the person they're talking to is that person that they sound like. So if I sound like a British speech guy, then okay, great. But if I were to sound exactly like the CIO of a company, or if I were to sound exactly like a child of a certain of you know of a parent that therefore you think they're in trouble there's all kinds of really really crazy nefarious things that you could do and now that this can all be done real time that's terrifying now how do you get around this so from the corporate perspective there really isn't any way you really just have to train people to be like hey these people might not be real so there are things in place where it's like okay hey look we're already doing that like what's your date of birth and whatever all that information is easily attainable. So you're really going to have to get your call center people like, look, no matter who it is, even if you absolutely know what certainty it is that person, you're going to have to send them a push notification to some secure device that you've already authenticated or authorized with. That's going to be how you're going to get around that one. But if they're internal and it's just an internal Zoom meeting or an internal Teams meeting, unfortunately, if you're stuck with that, then you're not going to know the person you're talking to on the other end really is that person, right? So what we need is these conference call people to have real-time audio analysis to let you know, hey, this looks like AI that's talking to you. That would be great to have. Doesn't exist right now. Just saying, that would be great to have. Now for personal at home, what we have is we have a code word and we have a distress word. So my kids, family, everyone all knows that if someone were to call and say, hey, I need something important or I need money or whatever, then we ask for, okay, what's the code word? So it's a word that we would never say in normal conversation. And when they say it, I know, okay, it's really them because it's never been published on a podcast. So they're never going to know it's me, you know, so therefore they know it's okay. To, and it really is me, but we also have a distress word. So therefore let's say one of my kids haven't read, we're, you know, being bullied into making a phone call to get money for whatever reason, they could then give me the distress word. So when I get the distress word, I know, okay, they're under distress. Someone's forcing them to do this, but I, let's just pay them the money so that we can, you know, do chill the situation. But also I'm going to call the cops to go find out where they are because I'm going to track them on my phone. So th these are little things that you can do, but really we're going to have to go to old school ways, meet in person. Like if there's something super important, if you have a face to face person, then, you know, it's really that person. PGP still works. Use email. Like, hey, sh cool. Shoot this to me in email. Have it PGP signed with their signature. Yay. That's another way to do it. So really, we're going to have to go back to old school techniques. But either way, this AI stuff is amazing. We can do really cool stuff with it. Um, unfortunately, it's also very terrifying. I mean, just recently, there was a, a big article that came out about a Baltimore uh, sports athletic director who created a fake AI speech audio clip of the principal of the school claiming, basically spouting off all this crazy racist crap. And then the dude put it online, like, hey, look at how racist yeah. this dude is. Look how bad he is. And then now he's going to be, and that was like back in January. So he had like three, four months of just being destroyed. His whole personal life, his business life, gone. Because everyone believed it. It sounds exactly like him. You can look it up online. The video's on, on um, Instagram and Twitter, so you can, or the, the audio clip so you can hear it. It sounds real. What happened was some AI audio analysis people caught the clip and was like, hey, actually, this looks like AI. And that caught the, the, the 
ears of the law enforcement. They wound up finding out, yep, it was totally generated. They arrested the guy. But this dude's reputation is ruined. So now that guy has to hope everyone else sees that, oh, that really wasn't me for, to get that. And people always have that first impact. Like, eh, I don't know, but was it? You know, people aren't going to trust it. So this is something we're going to be seeing a lot coming up. Um, so unfortunately, you just can't trust anything that you see or hear digitally ever again. <laughs> At least until someone comes up with a provenance solution. Maybe we should do that. Anyway, stay safe. Later. Hey everyone, you going to Identiverse this year, May 28th and 29th in Las Vegas? We're gonna be there and we're gonna make it awesome. How? We're having a scavenger hunt where you can win awesome prizes, hats, cool bottle opener, butterfly knives, awesome whiskey stones that are all custom branded, leather coasters, a real weapon. <laughs> and cool fun stuff like an invite to our private party. The way that you're gonna find it is find these little poker chips all over the convention, tap your phone to them and that's how you're gonna start the scavenger hunt. Lots of cool prizes and not everyone's gonna be able to make it. Hope you can do it. I'll see you guys there, later.